Hello YouTube. Um, this is kind of an overdue video, like a video I said I would do a while ago, but I never got around to it. But I finally am starting to get some energy and I'm less sick, I guess you can put that. So, um, I'm going to show off my Pokemon plush collection because it's something that I'm really into and because of how much money I'm putting into it now, I figured that I might as well show it off. So, uh, if you're into seeing stuff like this and you're fine hearing my voice, I hope you enjoy this video. Alright, so let's start off with my, um, favorite brand, which is Jack Specific. Jack Specific was mostly popular during, like, the 2000, I believe it was, they, Jack Specific ran from 2006 to, like, 2000. Eight, nine, maybe ten. I can't remember for sure, but it was during the Diamond and Pearl games through um, Unova until they transferred over to Tomy, one of the worst brands. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate Tomy so much. But let's get into what makes these my favorite. This isn't that doesn't belong there. So we can start off with the OG of the Jack Pacific plushies. My Patchy. Patchy, um, we've gone through a lot. She doesn't have her tags anymore because I ripped it off as a kid. A lot of these that don't have tags are either because I got them secondhand, which are most of my plushies are from, especially Jack Specific, or I had them as a kid and I cut the tags off because I thought it took away from her character when it would make my little stories and stuff. But, anyways, Patchy, the best. She's technically the ruler of everyone of all plushies, but. That's just my imagination stuff that I will make a separate video about maybe in the future if I want to embarrass myself. So yeah, Patchy. Um, Shellos, I got this Meraki, Makari, Meraki, I don't know how to say it. These, I got these two together. They're, yeah. Panseer and Pansage. Got these around the same time. They're brothers. I like to make jokes about them always smoking weed together and being drug dealers. You can tell that they're pretty old. Um, Snivy got this. It was either Meraki or eBay, but one of my favorite Pokemon because Smugly for jokes. This is a Torchic I got in a lot with a bunch of other really beat up secondhand Pokemon. It has a hole in its ass, so I um, edited it to look like Genji from the manga. And I have my um, Poke Center mud kit to go with it. This is a talking Chimchar plush that still works. It just doesn't have batteries. I want to try to collect every single one of the talking Jack specific plushies because I really love these. But um, as a kid, we couldn't afford these. I was just mostly able to get a couple of the main ones like Prim Plum was one of my first plushies. So now that I'm older, I'm able to try to seek them out and get them for my collection. Pidoaf was just a plush I got as a kid. This was um, a Wobbuffet I bought to try to replace the old Wobbuffet I had. The plushies I had as a kid that I ended up losing over time was a Manaphy, a Starly, and a Wobbuffet. And then a Pikachu. They all um, ate dust throughout a lot of stuff that happened when I was a kid, so it's okay. I can just try to find new ones to have them in memory, but, you know, I don't ever forget them. Uh, this is another Jack Specific Talking Plush battery pack, still works. Got it from Araki with the other, um, Talking Plushies. Through its wig. Then we have Primple Up Talking Plush. This one's really nice. I didn't realize how big some of these were. And it actually, like, feels, the scale is nice. It feels good. This is a tiny Primple Up. There's a lot of lore behind him what a lot of my earliest plushies from my storylines but as I said I will explain that in some other video at some point chat -Ot, I have two of them because um I don't know chat is always that Pokemon that is thrown into a lot and because I want the other Pokemon more than chat -Ot, I end up getting it but it works out since I like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon just a Piplup because I needed a Piplup for my collection out of like all the starters I still don't have Pimp Piplup um, Monferno, and then the final evolutions of some type. Chingling, um, love this thing so much, and Chimechow. 
they have a set in cuties of time travel coming out soon so i'm excited for that menu came from a lot Cherum was one of my first ones, which is why it looks like this. It's covered in dog hair from I don't know how many decades of dogs, but it's been through a lot. Um, Mencino, also known as Mimi, as you can see this nasty stain on it is from... I put a necklace on it because she was like a pretty girl, but the necklace had like this nasty glue and then stuff, you know, gross kid. Uh... <laughs> Got this in a lot because I'm trying to get more um, Jack specific plushies and just get a Synodex of Pokemon plushies. Weasel looked really hard for this thing because I love Weasel a lot. The Weasel floats online. They're just hard to get or they really don't have any plushies except like um, Japanese imported plushies from crane, ma crane machines. But this one's really cute. It's a Jack specific. The other Chadot. Zubat based on my Nuzlocke, um, first death ever I ever had in a Nuzlocke King. Victini, got this as a kid when I first went, when I went to Too Cool for the first time. So, he has lore with the plush universe. A talking Pikachu that has gone through hell like every other Pikachu I've ever had. This one has seen so many deaths of other Pikachus, he probably... Um, it's afraid of me and you know, it's very warranted. It has it's disgusting. I'm not even gonna lie This thing is rancid. It probably holds like three different versions of the flu and Sickness and probably a little bit of puke. I've given it a bath before But you know, um Nothing can erase the horrors he has seen this is a Leaf Beyond that I was looking for for a while and then I found someone selling it. Leafy. The thing is hilarious looking. Look at his face. I love Leafy on so much, but the Jack Specific plush has the funniest looking model ever. And I like, appreciate how goofy some of the models are. Which is another reason why I enjoy the brand a lot. Then just Axio because Axio. A Drifloom from one of the throw Pokeballs. This came in a lot with Minu and um, Torchic and a couple others. It was just like a throw in. It literally isn't much except thing. And then here we have the, du the duo. Time Lord and Space King, or as you know, Diablo and Palkia, got these together. I didn't even know these existed until I saw the listing and I freaked out and just impulse bought them. And, um, I probably could have got them cheaper, but it was about the standard price that they sell for it. Especially as a duo. Because getting them separately, um, I probably would have came out having to pay more, so. I'm, I'm glad I got them when I did. And I think that's all of my Jack Specific plushies. Yeah. Favorite brand because it's durable. And um, they came out when I was a kid. It has mostly, um, Hoenn, Hoenn. Sinnoh um, and Unova po uh, Pokemon, which are three of my favorite regions because those are the regions that I grew up with. I don't know, it's mostly nostalgia. And, oh, I don't know how to say that word, but nostalgia. And then they actually survive when I would be a violent kid. So, yeah. If you want cute Pokemon, go for Jack Specific. They're just harder to access now. Alright, and now Pokemon Center. I'm doing Pokemon Center second because I don't have that many of them. But I will give them the props that these things are really high quality because they're either always having the great um, material that they're made of or they have armatures in them. And that really, it, it kind of justifies why they cost so much. But the cost is one thing that I hate about Pokemon Center. Like obviously it's the official Pokemon Center plushies so they're going to cost the arm and the leg compared to old older brands. But damn... Um, anyways, let's show them off. I guess we'll do Lucas first. Obviously, this is a Typhlosion, but this is Lucas. I can't give him the hair that Lucas usually has, which is like big curls, because I don't have any of the same color of this Minky to uh, make additions to him. I don't mind um, modifying plushies because I don't really intend to sell any of these unless something really bad happens and I need money. And Pokemon Center plushies are more likely to resell for the same or if more 
when you resell them, but I'm not really interested in that. So modifying, I don't care for. But yeah, Lucas. Yeah, Pink Celebi I bought for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorer reasons, so I can do photo shoots and stuff. Sitting Cutie, um, Venom Venomoth, because this is one of my favorite Pokemon on the planet. I like a lot of really odd Pokemon, but a lot of the times they don't have plushies, which is sad. But when I saw that it had a Sitting Cuties, I was going to get Venom Nat too. But, um, that's probably for the future, especially when Mothum is released and Burmese. And then later, Galar, I can get Frost Moths too, so three moths. I messed up the video on accident with my thumb, but Calyrex, um, gave it a little cape thingy. Uh, not much to say about this. This is one of my, I have a Sona based on a Calyrex, like a bootleg one. And I like to make jokes about this thing being a bonnet. <laughs> if you're black, you most likely have used a bonnet before. I have to use bonnets when my hair is usually an afro, so that's where the joke comes from, from me saying I'm a Calyrex. Also, big brain. I like to try to make myself still think I have an intelligent brain. I really don't. Painfully average. Uh, church wig. This is Mystery Dungeon Purposes. From Walmart. Also from Walmart. Chimchar. Hatnia. I meant to get the other one, but I didn't pay attention when I ordered this one. This is just a basic one. This is the Sparkling, sparkling Cuties. Cyrus Pikachu. I love Cyrus for people who know me from other stuff. And then lastly, a Necrozoma I got from um, Moraki. I like Necrozoma solely because of my own lore I made up for it. I can't wait if they ever make an Ultra Necrozoma one. And then Mudkip. I got this from Wish for a dollar. It's old. And then that's everyone from the Pokemon Center. The next brand, I don't have that many of them, so I'm just going to end up grouping them together. These two are Wicked Cool Toys, which is, I would say, third place in my favorite brand. So doing them next kind of makes sense. I only have two of them so far. I want more. I want to get the Evolution since I don't really have the Evolutions except um, Umbreon. But here's a Lugia. I bought it from GameStop. This is um, a Marini that you could also get from GameStop, but I got it from Meraki. Because it was way cheaper in there. It was just... It was still in the box. I have the box, I believe. But, yeah. Um, here's... I'll do Toy Factory. Because I like this brand, too. They look really funny. But I'm pretty sure Toy Factory was very popular. When it came to selling. And either crane machines. Like, arcade crane machines. Or carnivals. Like, this, I'm pretty sure, was a plush that was, like from Six Flags or something like that. I remember seeing a lot of pictures back in the day from when I would want to go to carnivals to win plushies like these. There's some online where maybe I can um, add an image. Hopefully an image appears here showing what I mean, but yeah. Pretty sure it comes from that. But they're the little Shinx. These are the cutest models of Shinx I think there are right now. The Jack Specific Shinx, their eyes are really far apart, and then I don't think there's any other Shinx besides that. And then, Tomi. <sighs> Tomi. I don't know what to say about you, but I don't like you. Darkrai, I like you, but I haven't taken this out the box. Because I was like, hmm, maybe I'll keep it for value. The box is kind of beat up, but it still has never been taken out. But this is why I don't like Tomi. They get beat up and they look like shit afterwards. They look terrible. It looks really bad. They're not durable. They take on lint and dust very easily. They're just, I don't know, from going from really pulsable and fun plushies to Tomi, it was a downgrade. And not to mention, the figurines were way worse. The figurines of Jack Pacific, oh god, those things could survive anything. But then, except for like the Pikachu tails, those would fall off the second you do any rough housing. But these things, the figurines aren't even posable or anything. They would just be in a static position. I don't care how many Pokemon that they offered and told me. It was just boring. So, yeah. I don't know. Weird to say that a brand is boring, but I have my opinions. 
This is a Psyduck I got from my friend for um, Christmas. I'm not sure the brand, but oh my god, it's off. It's like Squishmallow quality, which helps me when I'm sleeping a lot. Here's a build. Oh wait, I forgot this Umbreon. This is Umbri. He's Tomy. He's the only acceptable um, Tomy, but as you see, Lint issues. Don't like Lint. It's annoying. Anyways, build a bear, Pipple up. This is Pippi. I mostly got him so he could be a problem for whenever I cosplay Dawn. Though, um, Comic Cons really aren't a thing right now. I do plan to do it eventually. I really, like, I am non binary who likes to be perceived as masculine. But I don't mind presenting as feminine, if that makes sense. I really don't mind presenting as feminine. But I don't perceive myself as feminine, you know, <sighs> brain stuff. Uh, Ban Presto Manaphy. I got this um, Meraki because I was trying to find a Manaphy for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon reasons. I did not realize this was not um, Jack specific until after I got it. It's okay though. And this is Hashbro, I believe. Which I didn't even know Hashbro had Pokemon plushies, but you know what? It's Hoenn. So, Ho oh. the beginning of the Pokemon plushies were really weird because it started off with play by play, and those things were like, oh my god, it's great. I'll explain play by play a little bit. Because this is a play by play, <laughs> it's from 1998. This is one of the first ever brands of Pokemon plushies that started being um, produced. So they look really funky and off model because there wasn't like no strict um line of like plushies going through. It's I, I wanna explain plushy um production and stuff maybe in the future, but just a little background. It 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 started off really rough and then to get from looking like that to increasingly like Jack Pacific was an early brand, I think. Past um hash bro harsh bro whatever and then told me like it it they have their times where it's good plushies bad plushies so yeah um this is just a pikachu that's pretty sure it's from walmart this is an arcade pikachu kind of like how um toy factory was mostly found in like carnival's arcades this was um produced i'm pretty sure it's a bootleg it's probably not even official but it was received from an arcade we have Sanai, which is a Japanese import brand. Though this one got um, dryer burnt from me just not paying attention. I have a lot of regrets. And here are my Oli Factory plushies, which are kind of almost my favorite right beside Wicked Cool Toys. I should, probably should have did these afterwards, but um, one thing I'll say about Oli Factory, it's a bootleg brand. They take um, inspiration or straight up um, snag patterns from canon plushies and reproduce them so there's like a shiny form of this one that they just changed colors I don't know if they make these by original but I'm pretty sure there is a commissioned um, Luxray out there that looks just like this but then Oli Factory probably got the pattern got their hands on the pattern and then start reproducing because this is based on the Poke Doll Darkrai and this is based on um, an early version kind of like Y'all got Paul here from Jack Specific, so. Yeah, it's not a good practice, obviously, but this is one of the only ways I was able to get access to a Luxray plush. And I don't intend to resell plushies. They're just mostly for comfort, especially these three. These three are, mo like, definitely comfort reasons, especially Barry. If you know Barry, then yeah, I don't have to really explain that on this video. Um, and... I think that's all the alternative plushies, so I'm going to go into the last batch. Alright, last plushies, as you see, my favorite Pokemon on this planet is Patrisu, therefore the ability to try to get um, a Patrisu collection has been my biggest goal of my life and I've always wanted to, so here we go. I got most of these Patrices in the same lot because someone was selling their Patrice collection. So I'm like, you know what? Might as well just drop that and get these. I probably could have got these for cheaper individually, but I'm not, I don't really mind when they all come in a lot together. 
because I don't want to have to hunt for them each. So here's a um, hanging Patrusu. I think it's Van Presto. Um, it used to be a light up, but it doesn't work anymore. I don't really mind. This is a Tomi Patrusu. I have no clue because this does not feel like the material Tomi uses. Unless this, there was an age of Tomi having better material compared to what Afroki and Fennekin are. But this feels really good to be um, a Takara Tomi. That is, this is a Pokemon Center that I believe came in a line with the Banarian who has a couple flowers on it and an Eevee. It's like a line of cute Pokemon from Japan. This is a Japanese import. It, um, the tail is smooth, but I don't mind. This is Jack Specific Patrisu from the Heart Gold Soul Silver line where they had like silver figurines and stuff like that. I liked it, that line of plushies a lot because they reproduced and released a lot of Pokemon that didn't get any love during the first wave of Jack Specifics. A big Pokedoll patchy. I'm not really educated on Pokedolls. I don't really care for them. But these two are just really adorable. Here's a smaller version of the Pokedoll. It has the tag too. I, I'm not really a tag person, but the fact that these Patrisus have their their tags, that I think that's cool. Here's a Katari Patrisu. I have to still get the sleeping one, but it still has its tag. I had got this when they were first released and I had to get it from Japan on eBay. I was really desperate to get the more Patrisus. Cause at the first, I only had this one. So this was my second Patrisu. This is a um, Tariba Patrisu that came um, with, it, it was released at the same time as a uh, Charmander. Hold on. I'm trying not to knock everyone over. It was released at the same time as Charmander, so it's pretty big. Uh, I'm not really good at the crane games, and I don't want to waste money. I know people went off free tickets, but I'm not, I'm not good at that stuff. I believe this is Band Presto. It has its tag. I can't really identify it, but it's definitely... Ca yeah, this is Band Presto. It came out during the time. pretty sure this was around the Shaman movie. I can't read the title, but it's Diamond and Pearl for sure. Maybe Battle Dimensions? Uh, I don't- I can't read that yet. I'm taking Japanese right now, but... Reading? Um, I'm not really literate. <laughs> and then we have, um, Bobblehead Patchy that I got from eBay. And a Patrice of Figurine. I have a bunch- I had my original Patrice of Figurine, but it was eaten. I have the body left that's covered in Play-Doh. And then... I made that Patrisu case, and then this is a Patrisu that comes from one of the throw Pokeball things back in the day, kind of like Driftblum. And lastly, this Patrisu that I made that's based on my OC, Patchy, which was like a uh, Patrisu based on my first ever Patrisu character that was reborn. Sorry, I burped. That's it for. Patchies. So yeah, that's my plush collection, pretty much. When it started really collecting last year. Um, I intend to keep collecting, so I will hopefully be able to do one of these again to show you how things have improved past um this, the first one. So yeah, um. This isn't all the plushies, obviously. This is just where I display most of them, especially the Sinnoh gang. But thanks if you watched, and hopefully I will have another one soon. Hopefully not anytime soon, but like in the next year. Yeah. Uh, have great days, I guess.